song that I sing every night before my three-year-old goes to sleep because I'm on a bit of a mission here. I put an album out called The Glorification of Sadness recently after I broke up with my kid's dad after 10 years. I'm now a single mum and this show is dedicated to all the single mothers out there. I know it's hard. I'm doing it. But what's important to me about this song and that I sing it to my daughter is when our kids are growing up and we're raising sons and they're misbehaving, we're saying, boys will be boys. And we're saying to our daughters, be a good girl, always behave. And it's not right because I'm a bad woman and proud. And I hope that you are gonna raise all of your daughters to be bad women too. Because I listened and I acted with servitude and it got me nowhere. So screw that. And the patriarchy is invisible, but we're all perpetuating it. So it's our responsibility as parents to make sure that it doesn't continue. So this one's for all your kids, that song in particular. So I'm gonna mix up some new songs, some old songs today, and hopefully you'll know some of the old ones as well, and you can sing with me. Thank you for being here and showing up.
shoes off for this, we're getting serious. Pretty girls in tights, cigarettes from last night, drunk loads and limousine highs, escaping the ghost of you all. But I'm in love. New face, lipstick, lies, playing hearts in my eyes. I'm phrase and never ask why.
You sound amazing. You sound incredible. Thank you for making a dream come true. People keep asking me how I've got to my 40s and I look still relatively young and I can run up and down on the stage. I'm going to tell you, the key to looking okay is loneliness. Because I looked a bit older when I was in a relationship with somebody I resented. And I was just sitting in the house being like stewing. Just like, oh, you irritate me so much that I have to tell you everything to do. So yeah, it's not a good idea. Did you just say we've got five minutes of a whole show? Oh my God. Yeah, sorry, I just, it came into my ear and I panicked. Um, but yeah, so basically my, my tip to you is that if you can try and stay together, because the grass isn't greener, let me tell you, the dating apps are appalling. I've been out there, it's the Wild West. Everybody's mental and damaged and have forgotten how to have connection. In fact, I was just talking to C6 Steve about it. He was like, I'm the wrong generation, but I don't know how you're doing this. Because people don't really know how to connect anymore. But basically, yes, try and stay together, but it's the resentment that's the problem. So all I'm asking, this is a plea, is that men, if you are married, I'm talking about heteronormative relationships. I've got something for LGB LGBTQ plus later. This one's heteronormative. And I just want you to s just notice that if a woman does the same action every single day, it means it needs doing. So don't wait to be asked to do it. Just bloody do it. There's a little tip to save your marriages. Thank me later. Now, if you know this next song, and I just want to thank you, because some of the people here will know it because they were there the first time round since 2009 when I first came out with this. Thank you for your loyalty. And thank you, and I hope you remember the words because I'm expecting you all to sing the backing vocals. So here we go.
it's time to rave. I know you've done it all weekend, but this one's dedicated especially to my LGBTQ friends. <laughs>
Too much. I've talked too much, so I'm not allowed to address you again. But it's been fun, and I think you might know this song, so please, everyone, put your arms in the air. Let's sing this one together.
Only looking her life. 